Sean Kent Hayashi with Sock and Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. In one of the comments from my YouTube channel, I've gotten questions asking me, what do I do with my dog when I'm not home? What do I do with my young puppy or my older dog? Using your own iPad, computer, television, whatever you can that you can put right next to your puppy's playpen. So you're leaving your puppy in a specific area and you'll take your iPad, whatever, and you'll place this right outside your puppy's playpen area so that he or she can see it and hear it. And I have three different channels that I'm going to recommend to you that you start playing for your puppy when you're not. Let home. me show you exactly what I mean in YouTube here. People who have my puppies tell me regularly that they turn on my YouTube channel and do you see right here if you're if you're in a laptop or a computer or something like this you can go right into my channel SVCC Toy Schnauzers and do you see this right here it says play all Click on that play all and it will play all of my videos, which is a fantastic thing to do if you are leaving a puppy and it is going to be a little while before you're back home, these videos will keep your puppy entertained. So put the laptop or the television uh, right outside the play gate, the, the puppy pen, where you leave your puppy when you are not home and have this playing. Now I have some other channels that I highly recommend that you add to this as well. Here we go. If you are going to be away from home or away from being able to interact with your dog all day and you want a great way to desensitize your dog to grooming, I highly recommend this channel, Dog Grooming Live All Day by Grooming Safer. So you click on this and you can watch live. It is fantastic because you see all sorts of different dogs being groomed. This little girl is mesmerized. We're watching Suzanne and all of my dogs are just glued to what's happening on the screen. They can't get enough. Thank you. This is a fantastic way for you to desensitize your dogs to grooming. Turn this channel on and let it play when you are not home so that your dogs have company while they sit on the sofa or wherever they sit and watch Suzanne grooming other dogs. Such amazing entertainment. My nighttime entertainment here, my dogs are watching with me. <laughs> We're watching Suzanne doing a schnauzer and uh, my dogs think this is very interesting thank you suzanne for the entertainment this is an example of a live dog bathing workshop that amy lee the go groomer has on her channel this video is an hour and 18 minutes long so if you know that you're going to be gone for about an hour you could pop this video on and let your dogs watch it while you are gone. When I'm not home, I turn on the YouTube channels here on my big TV so that my dogs can hear it and some of them can even see it. I've just returned from being away from home for a little while and so I'm coming down to see my dogs and I've had a television on for them playing video and they are just totally calm and relaxed because it does help them have mental stimulation and something to listen to and if they're listening to voices that they recognize because they've been listening to it for a while so for example if you set it up that your puppy is listening to Suzanne or Amy or even my channel for a while they get used to it and they start to just feel like it's really comfortable for them and so of course they're excited to see me but they're also quite fine that they've been on their own for a couple hours here 
And they have a variety of different play toys to keep them entertained. They also have potty pad area here that uh, enables them if they need to as little puppies. Typically my older ones are quite happy. But uh, when I do arrive home, first thing I do is let them out and then let them outside. So keeping them in a playpen like this is vital for any dog that is under one year old. If you have a dog that has not yet crossed the one year old mark, it needs to be kept in a playpen when you are not able to attend to it. Now, sometimes people will say to me, oh my goodness, Sean, you gotta be crazy. My dog hasn't gone in the house, I uh, haven't had an accident in two weeks. I say, that doesn't have anything to do with it. I want you to keep your dog in a playpen because it helps to create healthy boundaries. I want you to keep a, your dog in a playpen because doing so enables you to have a structure with your dog. When your dog goes through the ninth, 10th, 11th month with the big, look, look, look at him, he's so cute. As, as this little puppy, this little puppy has not had an accident in uh, potty training in weeks. He, he, he's doing fabulous and she never has an accident. But he will have a jawbone growth spurt when he is about nine months old. And at that point, he will be interested in chewing. And he will be interested in chewing things that I don't want him to chew potentially. Now, I've done a really good job of helping him to know, hey, you, you're showing me your toys. I've done a really good job of helping him to know what his chew toys are. And so he likes his chew toys. He knows, Toffee knows, this is one of the chew toys. Yes, you can see it's been well chewed. These are great chew toys for dogs, but I do not want him chewing on all of the woodwork in my home, and I do not want um, other issues. I don't want my furniture chewed on and so forth. So again, this is why I say to you, please make sure when you are not home, keep your puppy in a playpen, provide entertainment for your puppy in the form of YouTube channels turned on that your dogs can listen to. If you're getting value out of my videos, please subscribe. I appreciate you joining me on my adventure with my little schnauzers. I would appreciate your comments, your questions, anything that you would like me to focus on in upcoming videos. I'm always grateful for uh, your input. So please comment below, tell me what you think of what we're doing here and anything you'd like us to cover in future. Please subscribe and join us. Thank you.